God, who created us all, and whose divinity infuses our lives with the sacred. We believe in the multiple revelations of God, alive in every human heart, expressed in every culture, and found in all the wisdoms of the world. We believe in Jesus, the Christ, who leads us to the fullness of humanity, to become what we are meant to become. <coughs> Through Christ, we become new people, called beyond the consequences of our brokenness, lifted up to the fullness of life. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the breath of God on earth, who keeps the Christ vision present to everyone, including those who live in darkness, who gives light to hearts now blind, and who infuses energy into spirits that may be weary, isolated, searching, and confused. And so we say, amen to courage, to hope, to the spirit of truth, to nature, to happiness, to wholeness, to the partnership of all creation in God's plan, to the Christ who calls us beyond the boundaries of ourselves, to forgiveness, and to everything that stretches our hearts to the dimensions of God. In all of this, we proclaim our unity and faith in the God of all creation, no exceptions. Former Christian became Buddhist, spoke at Stanford in 19... 2006, rather than five years ago, and his kind of rendering of Avila was, you know, death is our friend, and death uh, uh, is the one thing that, uh, I'm help me out, but it was the sense that make the most of your life and be the person that you are, in a very secular, non-faith way, he's saying something very similar. The New York Times references Jobs as the, the high priestess of the new religion. Uh, and that strikes the corded meaning to young people. I don't pretend to try to understand what that means, whether that's an ominous uh, statement on the future of religion, but somehow I think it's a doorway that we have to walk through. And I just think that in a bizarre sort of way, Avila and Jobs were similar kind of out-of-the-box crazy people. I think there are a lot of people who are looking at establishments all around the world now and saying um, that they want more out of life than what the institutions that are controlling life are giving them. And they, they may not know exactly what that is. And I wish I could remember what I heard a young person in Australia <coughs> say. But he felt that occupying uh, Melbourne was an expression of uh, this, we want more from life. And we have more to give and we want more accountability from those who can. Lifting our voices in chorus, 
with those who have gone before us and with men and women all throughout the world today, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, our God, God of peace, mercy, and justice, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, and blessed are all those who come in the name of God. Hosanna in the highest. We acknowledge this spirit as the source and sustainer of everything that exists, bonding all things in relationship and connectedness, a spirit of constant movement toward a common good and a peaceful and just world. We marvel at the way this spirit came to expression on this planet Earth, especially in the human life form of Jesus, giving Jesus unique ways to express intelligence, love, choice, care, and concern. We experience this spirit in our own lives as a source and strength of truth and goodness, love and beauty, care and generosity. We see in you the sun and the moon, the rain and the wind. We see you in the liberation of humanity from injustice and oppression. We see you in our friends and lovers, our spouse and children. We know your passion, your intensity, your commitment to right relationships. We share this bread as Jesus shared bread, and we give it to one another as our pledge of openness to the spirit of love in our midst, and as a sign of our common humanity. He took the bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat. This bread is you. of Christ. Bring us healing strength of body and soul, and make us one with you and with one another in glory forever and ever. We ask this in the name of your Son, our brother, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. To be filled with the Spirit of God, we say, Amen. Amen. To all that the Spirit can do in each one of us, we say, Amen. Amen. To being the body of Christ, in our world, we say, Amen. Amen. 